project used to just be a regular project that Jake and I came up with in our classroom. And it involved the students designing a car and building a car to those specifications. So we wanted them to engineer a car and build a car. But the next evolution is kind of where I'm gonna let Jake take over. So after we came up with our basic project, I took that into our some of our meetings and met with the other elective departments. And we discussed where we could go with this. And we all kind of came together and collaborated on um, what could be our next step to make this a a village on campus where a project can move through classroom to classroom and enhance learning in, in each individual discipline. So we came together and we realized that students were really hard to transfer from classroom to classroom, um, but it was a lot easier to move a project through the classes and allow each student to put little, their little fingerprints on it and, uh, and put their own little touch on it. So um, we got the um, multimedia class involved, we've got the CAD class involved, the art class, we got music, we got Spanish, we have the animation class involved, and we're involved. And all of us have put one piece of the puzzle together. For instance, this all begins in CAD, where they design, the CAD students will design a car that has all the measurements that a student needs to execute that design. And then this gets delivered to the industrial tech shop, where the students have to execute that design, and that design would be done in wood first, Okay, and then that car then transfers to art. Art paints the car to the student's specified paint job. And then from there? From art, then we go into our races. Mm -hmm. So after art, it goes into our races and we race at lunch where the Spanish department comes out and they write um, a whole scenario that they give in English and in Spanish. And then they announce the races as we go. Um, multimedia was videotaping to make videos off of it. And Business Tech was marketing the whole thing through a website that they created. So every single elective, on this, almost every elective on this campus touched this project in some way, shape, or form. And we can't forget music. Music is writing original scores to go onto the website and for the videos as well, so. I think the biggest thing that this has taught me, because I, I was worried that people wouldn't buy in, but with Jake's enthusiasm, you know, because he's a little bit younger than me, he took it to the PLCs and it, it showed me that people are hungry to get involved. You know, at, at South, they were hungry. And all he had to do was show the project and people were like, well, how do I get involved in that? And from there, we've now created, or Jake created this PBL list where you can get involved in somebody else's project. So you just list what you're doing on this shared document and then if that's something that you feel like you can contribute to, then that's, that's, you reach out to that teacher and you try to figure out a way to have your students touch that same project. In the end, we're hoping that this project-based learning and this collaboration allows us to create kind of a village on campus where we know more students than we would generally know and allow us to you know, get involved with more of their lives and to have that connection on campus. So when you walk through campus, it's not like you just know your students. You're involved with many more students, so they know you, and hopefully that can cut down on discipline issues as well. Um, but we're hoping that this gives a purpose to their learning, so they can see why coming in here, they can see why science is important, math is important, and why they learn that in history, and they can make those connections. Well, the stuff they've learned in English, make that connection here, so they feel this deep purpose to what they have learned so far in seventh and eighth. We've already seen that. I had a student come up to me when these were being painted and she says, hey, tell your student Yesenia that the design she asked me for was very difficult. She better appreciate it. You know, so it's like, this is a student that he hasn't seen, I haven't seen them, but they're invested in this project that, you know, originally was just confined to these walls. And uh, it's, it's really neat to see how it spreads out.